When you're live streaming, sometimes it's really useful to have flexible lower thirds that you can change on the fly. From simple things like just showing your name like this, or showing the name of a guest as and when they appear on the show. Or maybe you have the sort of show that's like a news show and you want to be able to share the breaking news and have one of those news tickers just like you see on the news channels. But something that you can update really quickly with the latest news stories at the same time. Or maybe your show is the sort of show in which you watch a sports event, say a soccer match or something like that, and you want to be able to share the latest score and at the same time update that score when your team gets a goal. Or maybe you also want to be able to show some interesting highlighted chat within your YouTube chat. Wouldn't it be good if there was a simple program that could integrate with OBS and Streamlabs and other things like that, that you could update on the fly while you're broadcasting. Imagine that. Wouldn't that be good? And also, draw on the screen. Well, I'm going to be showing you how you can do all of this and much, much more in this video. So why don't we check it out? Lower thirds can be a key essential to live streams where you have guests, breaking news, say updating scores, and the ability to change them on the fly while you're broadcasting is really, really useful. Now, of course, you can create these scenes in OBS and Streamlabs and then go in and change them manually, maybe assign hotkeys and all these kind of sorts of things. But it doesn't necessarily make for ease of use when you're broadcasting live. But I found a graphics program that's more akin to live broadcasting graphics software that means you or even someone else can make changes live and they appear on your live stream. So let me show you how to set the program up and then how to use it in OBS or Streamlabs or any kind of broadcasting software where you can capture a window. So let's get to it. Okay, so we're gonna be using a program called uh, h2r graphics h2r graphics which you can download from here to record.com forward slash graphics here to record.com forward slash graphics okay so basically go to the website and then you'll see here h2r graphics simple graphics for your next live production and it's sort of got a kind of little intro here shows you uh, how it kind of works and all of that which i'm going to go through anyway but it just gives you an idea of the different features as well as i say you've got lower thirds in which you can show people's names say a news ticker it's got timers as well which is really cool so for instance in obs you have to have sort of round numbers in your in your timing so it has to be like five minutes you can't have like a you can't start a timer at three minutes two seconds and 48 seconds well you can with this timer you can actually show the time you can count down you can count up all those sort of things um, it'll also allow you to show logos have a sort of a message whether it just says live um, live event in in the corner of your screen and then uh, breaking news as well and things like that you can highlight youtube chat and then there are various sort of custom themes that they've got scores and you can even show images profile images of your youtube live crowd which i've not tried yet and also drawing on the screen as i said anyway here to record.com forward slash graphics is the program but just go to this page and then download for whatever system that you've got so it works with mac works with linux also windows so download the windows program uh, i've already done that obviously so when you've downloaded it execute it open it up uh, and you're good to go right so when you've done that what you basically get is this user interface here when you open up the program and you'll see up here it has got chroma now this is the sort of thing that we we want to be able to use so let's just open it now and there we are I'm going to make it full screen you don't have to make it full screen but bearing in mind we're going to be capturing this uh in obs or streamlabs as a window okay as a windows capture so for now let's open it full screen i'm just going to put the user interface on top so that you can see it right so across the top here you've got lower thirds ticker time logo message breaking news youtube chat uh, the integration is a bit more complicated but i'll show you how to do it if you're interested you can show images 
score and then there's some general settings here and of course you can just draw on the screen automatically so i'll show you what each one looks like let's just move this over here for a bit so you can see so this is basically so like a green screen and now i've put some names in here already for so you have a lower third one a lower third two lower third three lower third four and you can add more as well as and when and then all you do is you just click on show and there you see the name appears and then if you have a guest on the other side there you are, you'll see oh my camera's in the way let me just uh there you, are. you can see the name on the other side okay and you can also set them up as well to sort of fade out after a period of time like they've done there so i'll show you here in the options section you can change the name color title color background color all of that you can change the various size so for instance put my name on there and then i can change the size kind of to fit the duration in milliseconds how long you want it on the screen for whether it fades out it slides out like this so you'll see when it sort of slides out there we are so 15,000 there represents 15 seconds and then if you uh, know your custom CSS then you can configure it there but generally you've got lots of variables that you can apply as I say in addition to the size you can change the position so I've got it uh, there we are up and down I had it at nine percent there so you can actually show up to four uh, show 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 but they only go left and right so you can't have four on the screen at the same time so that is a drawback or I haven't found a way of kind of of doing that at the moment but it's something to bear in mind with the ticker of course the same thing you've got breaking news you can call it anything you know instead of breaking news you can call it latest news click on show and there we are this is amazing you can um, cut off some of the news so I put a different here's lead lead item one here's lead item two just click show again it comes back on it's just got this is amazing there lead item one then if I want to show lead item two I just highlight the eye there reset show and there we are this is amazing I know right and then you can add um, other news stories here and then of course you've got options as well with all the colors title text background text all of that you can change the size and add it 24 percent the speed so different speeds you have to sort of show it again but let's show that super fast there we are whizzing past super fast speed let's go back to medium And again, the transition in and out as well, how you want it to kind of come in when you show it. And the choice is there, you've got wipe. So let's see what it looks like when we wipe it. And then we show it. There I see it sort of wipes down the screen like that. I much prefer the uh, fade in. Quite a fast fade. And of course the vertical offset as well so you can sort of place it where you want so it fits into your overall uh, screen design then you've got things like time and the choices here are um, let's go back to the ticker and just take that off just by going hide go to the time here so you can count down from uh, a time zero and of course the great thing here is you can be really precise so for instance if you have a music track um, there we are there's the time you can be really precise in which where you want your start time to be now there is a, i do have a script in obs which allows you to have a countdown timer but as i say you can't be as precise as two minutes 38 seconds or in this case two hours 38 minutes and 41. Um, you can also have um, time of day uh, you need to be able to kind of set that to where you are you can have a zero time so it counts up uh, there's a stopwatch which is going to be very similar really and there and there we've got and the current time of day as well uh, it's going to probably take that from whatever the current time of day is you can also include a logo which is simply uh, um, upload here you'll see um, 
you can choose and then it'll take you to uh, your file directory you can upload a file I've got one here so again I could put you know my logo in the corner here and then you've got options on that as well you kind of move it uh, you can change its size and again you can have it fade in wipe in anything like that and then hide it when you want to hide it um, message so we could put live I don't know on air whatever and then you get live on air doesn't quite fit in there so that's fine we'll just make the box smaller fits in nicely there and again horizontal offset so you can move it to the other side move it over there and all of that breaking news I'm not sure how this works um, I will kind of investigate more but there you need to kind of create a Google sheet and then kind of share it or something like that not entirely 100% sure with that um, with YouTube chat now I've shown before how you can integrate your live YouTube chat and highlight individual chat comments and stuff which is really really cool feature well they have it in here as well and I really like the layout of it here so for instance there we go and again you've got the option so you can kind of position it um, in terms of vertical offset so it kind of all fits on now the integration of this that's just an example using the here the h2r graphics program comments integration of this is a bit more complex but i'll show you uh, if you're interested how to go through that and you can you can include a full screen image if you want to here as well and then the score bit here you can just put in the teams you can change the color should have done that really didn't i um let's make that white of you of you and then you can show that and then you'll see there oh it's white on let's uh, give them because it's white text isn't it let's put them in put them in that orange there we go orangey green so there you've got the score there so all fairly straightforward so now you've seen oh yeah and then the drawing on the screen sorry the drawing on the screen all you need to do is click on this green screen bit and you see the little hand appears and then you can draw and that appears on the green screen as well okay so that's a real quick run through of how the h2r graphics program works so let's have a look how we can integrate all of this into obs streamlabs or whatever software that you use that allows you to capture a window like this so let's check it out so here we are in obs and all you need to do is create a scene for instance so i've already created one here called screen capture but let me just show you how you do that so add a new scene call it call it the h2r screen okay and then what we're going to do is a windows capture so now we're going to add a, uh, a source so we want window window capture okay and then you can call it what you want call it the uh, h2r source or whatever or scores or updates whatever we're going to call it h2r um, source and then we want to then down in here in the windows we want to find the window we want to capture and it's this one the h2r graphics executed chroma and there we are there's the green screen we go okay now I need to make it fit my um, my screen you may not have to depending on I've got a 4k screen that I'm looking at I need to make it refit uh, so we'll go fit to screen there we are it fits the screen there okay and then you'll see um, if I just bring this over here to so you can see It's side by side this is the user interface just so you can see what happens when we add the lower third there's the lower third now what we want to do what we want to do is add a filter to this chroma key we want to chroma key it out so go into here we'll add filters add a filter chroma key okay boom because I've already got the key color type on green it knows um, it's sort of perfect flat 
chroma key color so perfectly so we're done there now if i bring this in again and i say I click on the lower third oops there you go um or we have the ticker there we go okay so it's all working that's all good now when you want to take everything off the screen you can just click on hide all like that and everything disappears lovely okay so now we've got the main window captured and we've removed the green bit so that the back of it is transparent okay so then you go to your main screen your main presentation screen so for instance this is my screen with my camera and everything obviously and then we're going to add that scene that we've just created uh, so we go to add scene and in this case it's the h2r screen that i created remember that's the scene i created add it and there it suddenly appeared now just to show you that it has appeared because obviously nothing's changed let's bring in the h2r graphics interface uh, and just add lower third and then show my name there we go or your ticker show it and there you can see it beautifully just integrates like that of course you can have your um, score show the score up above like that and then when your team scores oh just add the goal like that and there it shows the scores and things like that now with chat it's a bit more kind of complicated because you have to create a google api which sounds really complicated but it's not that you integrate the chat and then you just sort of click on um, the kind of piece of chat that you want from your youtube uh, chat stream and there it appears i really like the layout of that it's really smart um, anyway and then when you want to hide everything as i say just click up here you can hide all and then drawing as well you go to your green screen you know your main green chroma screen that you've got there and then you just draw on it and there you go very very simple and then with the image uh with the drawings draw on screen here you can change the name uh you can use c to clear the canvas apparently that didn't work anyway there we are clear drawing so there you go really simple to use and the fact that you can tailor the options to really kind of suit your branding or the style you can really use your imagination to come up with great uses for this program the integration of the youtube chat is a bit more complex and involving and requires you to create a google api and various things like that so i will do a separate video on that if you're interested but if you want to highlight youtube chat live in your streams then i have another way of doing it which is much much more simpler and arguably less evasive so if you're interested in that then check out the description here uh, how i show you to do that because that's really really super easy and when you combine it with this program i think you're going to be really pleased with the results anyway i hope you found that useful i hope you found it interesting if you did then do me a massive favor hit those likes because i like it youtube likes it and it helps people like you find content like this and if you are new here then do me the honor arigata gozaimasu of hitting that subscribe button and toggling that notification bell so you know when i go live with content like this thank you for your time and i'll see you around with more interesting stuff very very soon thank you